I took a bunch of measurements and then I cut some wood, had some help, and now it's a camper again? You gotta be kidding me. Now go. Oh, are you okay? All right, so today we're gonna keep uh, adding the ceiling joists to it. Uh, we're gonna start over here at the front and I'm gonna cut a bevel on this one so it sits down flush here with the surface of the trailer. And then we're just gonna move on from there. Um, there's a lot of kind of little things left to do on it um, before we get to wrapping the skin up on it, so. Um, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. gonna glue it.
try to finish cutting this doorway out. Okay, so we're gonna cut a bunch of these little strips of loo on to fill in between the uh, joists. So they're going to build up this curve until it's flush with all of those. because I used it as a pattern, but none of them are too long. Oh. So he's going to start barking. So that is that. Mm -hmm. See, that makes that edge where we're gonna ultimately staple, or screw the uh, J-rail that seals the two sides together. Okay, trailer trash, that's it for today. Tomorrow, more of the same. done as much as we can as far as uh, putting this little uh, framing out. So we carried this uh, front panel over here and we clamped it into place on on the uh, front of the camper so that we can find out where this window is supposed to be. And we can see now it's got to be right here. So we're going to mark that and then we're going to put in a joist that it's going to uh, rest on and then we can figure out uh, where we Need to put the top of that, frame this all in, and, and be done with the front.
drop the roof skin on the top to locate the where the roof vent and the back window goes. Make sure everything was lining up right. It seems like it is. So we're going to take that off and then we're going to do the framing for the vent. It's got to at least be a 14 inch square because that's the size of your standard roof vent. Um, but yeah, going pretty smoothly, all things considered. Okay, so before we quit tonight, we're gonna put one last board, runs right across here. It goes right over the back window. Um, since we know more or less where that goes now, because we put the skin on, uh, we can put that. And then uh, that'll help us next time locate the bottom of the window, because we know how wide the window is. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll put all the rest of the framing on the back. Day number four, maybe? We're gonna try to get the back end all framed up today. Um, get some of these other little miscellaneous odds and ends taken care of. And I'm gonna try to cut a piece of aluminum in half to uh, make some little additional braces for this support here so it doesn't bow in the middle. Um, we, we used a ceiling joist that had a big knot right in the middle of the board and I think that weak spot has caused it to dip. So um, rather than pull all that out, because uh, it's right here on the seam of two different boards, um, I think the thing to do is to just to reinforce that and that aluminum should be strong enough to keep it from dipping. Okay, so we're working on this back piece here. And fortunately, when we took it apart, we had all of these pieces here had this little gusset that ran across them on the original camper. And uh, I kept that, so I was able to uh, locate the door, and then I was able to just clamp that back into place so we could locate where all these boards go. Okay, so we're getting the back window framed in. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the window, tack the horizontal pieces on down here, and uh, we'll move on. Okay, so we've got the uh, ceiling joists are all in place. We've just got to put some little spacers here and there, continue with that, and a couple of little things here and there, and, and we'll pretty much be done. It doesn't look done. <laughs> It'll pretty much be done for this part.
Okay, so to try to fix that Boeing ceiling joist, I'm going to add some aluminum angle to it. The old camper actually had this really uh, beefy piece of uh, aluminum channel that came from Martin Marietta uh, Aircraft Corporation. So this could be some pretty, uh, some pretty tough stuff. That took a long time. I don't recommend it. Just go buy your angle aluminum and be done with it. It is kind of weird looking, like orangish. Yeah, it's pretty. Let's scoot. See me sweat? So here's a piece of the aluminum channel that I cut in half to make two pieces of uh, aluminum angle. So it's just an L shape. That... Anyway, our roof is basically done. Uh, we have one little strip of this uh, really thin plywood uh, that's going to wrap around the outside and then uh, possibly a little bit of adjustment to make sure that it it sits flush with the piece of skin that comes up to the side here. Um, but yeah, it is looking very good. We're making good progress. I wonder if that would drive in there without busting. You ready to do those others? Yep. Let me get my hammer so I don't get shot with my staple. Now we're going. Oh, are you okay? Drive this in. Somebody, somebody told me I could. Well, broke, but. be the last piece of wood. Okay, so that's it for the wood. Next thing we're going to do is, I guess, figure out our wiring and then uh, put in some insulation and then um, skin goes on. We ordered our fantastic fan the other day, so hopefully it'll get here in a few days. And Catherine picked out her lighting for in here, so it's going to look pretty, pretty cool. If you like this, make sure and like and subscribe. Um, otherwise, we're just going to catch you next time. <laughs>